Hello and welcome to Cataclysm University. My name is Vormithrax and this is course number 15 where we will be learning about grabbing objects. Alright, so the grab command is another very useful command that everybody should know about. Newer players especially will want to learn how to do this and why it's important. So here's our character in the middle of our survival shelter and the grab command is very simple. It's just shift G to grab something. And you can do this with furniture type items as well as some of the vehicle type items. So by vehicle, mostly what I'm referring to is this thing directly north of me and, and items like it. Um, I'm going to examine this. This is a vehicle device. Now it's not a car, it's actually a shopping cart. And you can see here it says shopping cart. It uses the automobile or vehicle building system. It's got an extra light frame, a shopping cart basket, and four inch casters. The reason it's super, super useful is it has the basket with 50 liters of carrying capacity. So when you're new in the game, carrying capacity is hugely important. So while you're scavenging and looting, you can carry more stuff because you're constantly running out of room in your body, your inventory, to actually carry stuff. And you find more things than you can carry, and you have to make a bunch of trips back and forth to your base or whatever you're doing. So if you do happen to find a shopping cart, just examine it. Take a look at these, make sure that they're all present, that they're not completely destroyed, and then you can make use of it. So the grab command is how you're going to actually drag this around with you. If you do shift G, it'll ask you grab where, and you just pick a direction. And if there's a suitable object in that direction, you will see here that it says you grab the shopping cart. Now when I move, the shopping cart follows around behind me. Super useful. I can also drop things directly into the shopping cart using the advanced inventory management command. That's what the D key is for. You can see it is the grabbed vehicle or shopping cart and I can see exactly what's in the cart and I can maneuver inventory back and forth. So it basically expands your carrying capacity tremendously. Now a couple things to note while you're dragging things you want to be careful to watch for sound and also watch for how many points it's costing you to move. So right now, with the cart dragging along behind me, it's costing me 113 points to move, and it's making sound 4. So if I move back and forth here, 113 and 4. If I let go of the cart, which again is just Shift G, and I move, 103 and 4. So it's not adding any sound, but it is adding 10 points for my movement cost each space that I move when I'm dragging the cart. Now, sound can change based on the object and its condition and how heavy it is. So if I filled this card up to capacity with a huge volume and also a huge weight, it's going to put a strain on the cart and it could make more noise. Also, if the casters, the roller wheels in the bottom are damaged, it could be making more noise. So be aware of that when you're checking the vehicle itself. So check the caster condition and such, and then when you first grab it and start moving, just verify and be aware of what sound and how many movement points it's costing you. It's also important when you are about to go into a fight that you let go of the cart because you don't want it to be taking up the extra 10 movement points. You need every movement point you've got in order to fight effectively. So unless you're really confident about the combat you're about to engage in, I usually recommend you let go of the cart, then finish the fight, then grab it again. But if you're way overmatching your opponent, feel free to keep a hold of it and you can fight with no problem. But just be aware. Alright, so carts aren't the only thing, and there are variations of the shopping cart. There are wheelbarrows and travois and a few other things that can serve the same function. So uh, I just wanted to show the basic mechanics and functionality there and some things to watch out for. The sound and the, the noise, or the noise and the uh, movement points. But let's do another example. So we've got a counter here. Let's say I don't like the positioning of this counter. I can grab this counter piece, move it out, and let go of it. Grab the next counter piece, move it out, let go of it. And you can drag this wherever you want. It's a little funky the way the menu works. You've got to get a little bit used to it with that function. As long as you move one direction, you're okay. But as soon as you try to move sideways, you kind of it gets a little weird. <laughs> You'll see what I mean when you start to do it. But basically, you can reposition furniture. You can use this to uh, do a lot of cool things, both in base building as well as certain tactical situations where... You can, for example, grab a locker and use it as a shield. Notice how it's blocking line of sight out this way. So if there were some zombies out here that I wanted to be careful about, I might grab something like this, put it in a position. So let's say, for example, there's zombies just on the other side of the wall out this way. What I could do is move this to there, 
I'm going to let go of it and change my position. So I'm going to move up behind it now. I'm going to grab the, and then I'm going to move this way. And it's blocking line of sight. So anything that's over here can't see me. So I'm closing the range. Let's say I had a shotgun and I had wanted to make sure I got close before I engaged whatever's over there. I could use this as a vision blocker until I got where I needed it to be. Then I could let go of it, pop out, blow the thing up, and continue on from there. So, there are a number of different tactical uses for this. <laughs> I move my locker back into position here. Alright, um, so you can move a lot of the furniture items around. So if you're designing a base and you want to have certain types of shelves or counters or benches and so on, you can relocate them however you'd like. Um, you can drag and grab carts around and so on. So very powerful function. Be aware of it, but just be careful. Know the consequences. It will have some sound effects possibly, and it will also have some movement costs possibly. So be aware of those mechanics and how they work so that you know exactly what uh, is going to happen. But I think that'll cover it for this course. Appreciate you attending. I hope you found the information helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and or hit up the Discord channel I've got linked. Be happy to converse with you there about any topics in the game and other games that we cover on the channel. And there's some other folks there as well that are very knowledgeable that would be happy to answer any questions or problems you might have in the game. So hope to see you in the next course and have a great day.